Rhinoplasty is a surgical procedure where we actually change the look of a nose from a very small bump to a crooked nose to a tip that is too droopy, too wide. All these complaints we can accomplish and fix in a rhinoplasty. Oftentimes when patients come in for a rhinoplasty consultation, they feel self-conscious about themselves or how they look in pictures. Oftentimes they also will have uh, breathing complaints and other true medical issues that can be addressed during the rhinoplasty as well. A rhinoplasty is traditionally performed under general anesthesia in a surgery center or an operating room setting. Depending on the patient's complaints and, and the cosmetic deformity, the procedure can take anywhere from one to three hours to perform. I usually perform a technique called open rhinoplasty, which allows me to better evaluate the patient's underlying deformity and structures inside, and so I can correct both the breathing and the cosmetic appearance. With this technique, there's a very tiny incision made at the columella, which is this part of the nose right here. Typically, once the patient is healed and the sutures are out, you cannot see this incision. After a patient has a rhinoplasty, there usually is some congestion and swelling around the nose. After week one, the patient returns to the office where the cast and the sutures are removed. The patient's nose is still very swollen at this point, but we start to have a, an idea of what the patient will ultimately look like. Over the next several weeks and months, the swelling slowly comes down so we can see our final product. Usually the majority of the swelling is done by about six months, but the end result could take up to a year. Patients often remark that they're so happy with not only their cosmetic result, but also now they can finally breathe again. They feel comfortable seeing themselves in pictures once again, and, and some patients can go out and resume their social lives, which they weren't doing before.